Namaste everyone. Here I'm back again with a topic called life processes, taking it from biology of year seven. Now in this chapter we'll focusing we'll be studying the breathing and internal respiration. How does living organisms so breathing respiration process and how do they excrete? What are the organs involved? What are, what is the processes? Now first let, let's moving on to life processes. Now including human beings, all the animals, all the organisms, they have to do different activities so that they can keep themselves alive. That activities the various or organisms do to make make themselves alive. That is called those activities, those processes. They are called life processes. Now some of the examples may be respiration, excretion, it may be digestion. These are the examples of life processes and these life processes they are seen in all organisms. Today we are, we are focusing on two life processes that is respiration, how does organisms respire and how does organisms excrete, what are the organs involved with, what is the processes. Moving on to it, let's move to respiration. Every living organism, they need energy. Even we need energy to talk, to walk, to move from one place to another, to do different activities. And how do we get that energy? We all get, all the organisms, they get the energy from the food they eat. Now what happens during the, after the process of digestion, the absorbed food, it, they get mixed with the oxygen. And during this process, energy is re released. And along with energy, there is a release of carbon dioxide and water too. And this energy is utilized by all the living organisms. That means to produce energy, food is required and oxygen is essential. Now respiration is the process by which oxygen is taken and utilized to produce energy from food. It occurs in two steps breathing and internal respirations let's talk about breathing first breathing it is also known as external respiration and during this breathing what happens is there is exchange of gases that means there is the process of oxygen taking in and carbon dioxide throwing out that is external respiration or in commonly we call it breathing now it, most of us do not know the fact that even plants breathe most of the students they only know about the process called photosynthesis the food making food making process of plants but even plants breathe and breathing takes place in plants with the help of stomata and in unicellular organism it occurs through the general processes general body surfaces now here is the structure of stomata that means the stomata is closed and stomata is opened that means stomata opens whenever oxygen has to be taken inside and carbon dioxide has to be thrown outside else otherwise the stomata remains closed now let's talk about breathing how does breathing occurs in multicellular organism through which organs first is skin now animals like earthworm leads they they respire through they have they respire through skin and for this they have thin and moist skin and the gaseous exchange that means the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place through the skin now next one is trachea now this is a structure of trachea and trachea most insects respire through trachea what happens there are the presence of air tube this is a air tube this is present in their whole body these tubes are called trachea they are opened look they are open and these opening are called spiracles. Now the gases, actions of gases takes place with these spiracles, from these spiracles. Now the third one is gills. Now I know, looking at the picture you can tell aquatic animals they have gills to absorb the dissolved oxygen from water. That means these gills, they are washed by the water and during this washing, these gills absorbs water from the sorry absorbs oxygen from the water and releases carbon dioxide to the water 
Now in lungs, that means except spices, all the vertebrates they have lungs. This is, I'm here with the human lungs. Now vertebrates they have lungs. It lies in the chest cavity. Actually, they consist of a uh, air sacs. Now these alveoli they are the air sacs. These air sacs they are responsible for the exchange of gaseous materials. Now if learning about respiration with lungs in detail here I am with I will talk about respiration with lungs in detail in human beings after some time now that was all four organs lungs gills trachea and skin through these organs the breathing occurs now breathing is just the accents of gaseous materials now what we have to focus on is internal respiration after external respiration that means oxygen is taken in this that oxygen is circled it circulated throughout the body and that oxygen it gets mixed up with carbon dioxide and glucose now they are this carbon dioxide glucose they react with oxygen and they produce energy during this reaction sorry it's h20 in the figure i want to it, it's a h2o water and carbon dioxide COT, CO2. These are the byproduct. That means during release of energy, carbon dioxide is produced. That's why we are throwing carbon dioxide outside our body. And this carbon dioxide is thrown out from our body. Now, respiration in human beings. What happens? Human beings, its respiratory system consists of nose, respiratory passes, and the lungs. Nose respiratory passes and the lungs now the air in enters through the nose then passes through the respiratory passes and then reaches to the lungs now what are respiratory passages nostrils nasal chambers pharynx larynx trachea bronchi and bronchioles bronchioles are the branches of bronchi now these bronchioles are they are very fine tube like structure we can see the here bronchus and these tubes they are bronchioles and these bronchioles they divide furthermore into a air sac those air sacs are called alveoli and it's a plural form alveoli now alveoli they are surrounded by blood capillaries that means they are very rich in blood why because these alveoli they are supposed to absorb the oxygen present in the blood they absorb the oxygen alveoli sorry i want to correct the alveoli they supply the oxygen to the blood and they absorb the carbon dioxide from the blood look gaseous exchange has been taken place in alveoli alveoli means air sacs breathing in breathing in oxygen is given to the blood through alveoli and alveoli collects carbon dioxide that carbon dioxide is thrown out that is a breathing out now respiration completes by two processes two in two steps the first one is external respiration breathing and the second one is internal respirations i will in next class we will discuss about how excretion takes place in different organisms what are the organs responsible for excretions in different kinds of organisms till then follow the distance uh, follow the west montessori elementary schools distance learning center i hope you all have been getting a great knowledge from this distance learning center till then till we meet again stay safe thank you Bye-bye.